Now we are on lesson seven, where we are going to see how to clean the bathroom and pay attention to this lesson as it's very important in housekeeping. Remember to take notes and write down all necessaries. By cleaning of, of the bathroom, you need to take care of every surfaces that we have in the bathroom. First of all, you need to hold all, to have all cleaning facilities, like cleaning tools and cleaning products. And also, you have to be attentive. So when you come in, the first thing is to soak. By soaking, you soak toilets, you soak bathtub, and you soak hand wash, and also you soak the shower. And you soak each one with the appropriate chemical. By soaking the toilet, I'm going to use toilet cleaner. And we have to respect the standard procedures of soaking the toilet. You have to put toilet cleaner around. And you have to close for five minutes. Then you come on a hand wash. When you soak the hand wash, you use the multipurpose cleaner. After soaking here, we have also to soak the shower mirror. And then we soak the tile with multi-surface or multi-purpose cleaner. After soaking the shower, I have to wait for five minutes. And within that five minutes, I will be removing all used linen, even emptying the dustbin. I have to remove all this used linen. I have also to empty the dustbin. And I have to put back the new this is the new dust plastic bag. Then I have to check for maintenance. I have to check if everything is working properly. Within that five minutes, I can check if there is no any maintenance issue. I have to check for lights. I see that they are all on. I can even check here if it's well fixed, even the bus tap. And I remove also this used body lotion. Then I will be back for cleaning. After five minutes, I have to clean them. I will start with the mirror. Because I have to start from top, of course, from top to the bottom. I have also to clean this one. This, we call it shaving mirror. And I proceed. I have to proceed with the hand wash. I have to clean it properly. Then I remove the data with water. To remove the foam.
If there is hot water, you can also use hot water for rinsing. Then after I have to dry, for drying I have to start with the tap. And when you are cleaning, you need to fold the cleaning into four pieces. You have to dry it properly. And even open here and see, and close. Then after, I have to be back on the toilet seat. I will open it, even open the second cover. And wash. And then you flush. So when f to dry the toilet, remember we have to use the red cleaning cloth. It is appropriate for the toilet. And after cleaning the toilet, you have to leave the toilet open with one, one side. The first side has to be down, and you leave the second one open. It to facilitate the guest use. The guest doesn't have to come in and open the toilet for the use. He have to find it, he or she have to find it open like this. After washing the toilet and clean it properly, now we are going to clean the shower mirror, even the entire surface of the shower. Then I'm cleaning the mirror, the shower mirror, after soaking. Remember that we soak it for five minutes. And the reason of soaking is to make the dust, the heavy dust weight for cleaning. Then after, I have to take the scoring part for the tiles. Here I can even use the shower. Tap for cleaning. Then I have to go back for drying. We have also to dry the mirror for the for water that's passed when was cleaning the tiles. Then we dry with multi-surface cleaning cloth and dry everywhere, even the basta. Properly, there are many things. We have also to dry tiles so it may remain.
free of water on it. Then I have also to clean the outside of shower mirror. And because the cleaning cloth is already wet, I have to take another dry cloth for the mirror. Of course, it's the blue one. Remember, it's from top to bottom. For the perfect, for the perfect result, we need to clean from top to bottom. We have even to clean the shower handle. Then after cleaning the shower glasses, we are going to continue with dusting, dusting the rest of the bathroom. After cleaning the bathroom, the bathroom shower glasses, now the rest is to dust the entire wall. As you see, is the tile walls, so I need to pass on the multipurpose and multipurpose clothes so that it may be free of dust. If you reach here, you also pass to the toilet for removing maybe the dust that may have been fold while cleaning the wall. Then you continue here with the wall. And you also, also pass it here. You have also to dry well the plugs. Okay. Then we continue here. Like here, you found that there is a mark. We need to spray on multipurpose. We need also to clean. We need also to dust the towel holder to remove the dust that might be on it. I'm using multipurpose cleaner where I found the heavy dust that can't be removed just by dry dust. I have to add the multipurpose cleaner. Now I'm done with dusting the bathroom. The next point in the cleaning bathroom is to put in or replenishing the amenities used. After dusting, the next point is to replenish the amenities. When you are replenishing the amenities, remember that you have to remove your gloves. That's why during cleaning, I was wearing my gloves and I remove it when I was supposed to bring the amenities because I can't touch the glass that will be used by the guest with the gloves that are full of multipurpose cleaner and other detergent I used for cleaning. And I have to arrange it properly here. Even put the amenities tray here. And this one, I'm going to put it in shower. In shower, I will put shower gel, shampoo, and bath soap. 
as you see here, I found even another one in. I will put shower gel and shampoo, even bath soap. Then I will close. After replenishing, the last point in uh, cleaning the bathroom is mopping.